If you're using the full version of Revit, you've actually got three programs combined into one. You've got Revit Architecture, Revit Structure and Revit MEP. So you've got all your architectural tools included in Revit Architecture. You've also got all the structural tools under this menu for Revit Structure. More here. And Systems are all the tools in Revit MEP, so all the electrical equipment, um, ductwork, plumbing, etc. You've also got some analysis tools that uh, apply to both Revit Structure and Revit MEP. So if you're from one of the architectural disciplines, let's say an architect, architectural designer, architectural technologist, etc., uh, you probably are not going to be too interested in some of these other tools, the structural tools or the systems tools or even the, um, the analysis tools. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world if you just leave the menu as it is. It's just probably that you'll, you'll never really delve into these menu items. But it's just to let you know that you can actually simplify the interface by turning off the bits that you don't need or not interested in. To do so, we go to File options and user interface and the first panel we see at the top there allows us to turn on and off the particular parts of the menu system that we're interested in or not as the case may be so if you are from an architectural discipline you're obviously going to want to leave architecture tab and tools turned on but we can turn off virtually everything else structures and to do with systems all these down here energy analysis and tools but you probably would want to leave one I suggest massing and site so um, enabling you to put sort of topo surfaces and things like that so we'll leave that one on so for the architectural disciplines we've literally just got two of those on now the first one architecture tab and tools and the massing and site tab and tools let's go ahead and click OK and you can see it's taken away all the structural parts uh, the systems and the analysis menu. Obviously if you're a structural engineer or a mechanical electrical designer uh, the same is true you can obviously turn off the architecture tools and just leave on your discipline specific tools. I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video if so please hit the like button if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released please subscribe to this channel and to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.